चैप्टर इज मेजोलिथिक एज दिस इज फेज ऑफ हंटर्स एंड हार्डर्स मैन ऑबटेन फूड बाई हंटिंग एंड ऑल्सो स्टार्ट डोमेस्टिकेटिंग द एनिमल्स एम सी क्यूज बेस्ड ऑन दिस स्टडी कंटेंट हैव बीन गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन वी हैव डन पेलोलिथिक एज इन प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड नाउ द नेक्स्ट प्री हिस्टोरिक फेज इज मेजोलिथिक एज दिस फेज स्टार्ट अराउंड नाइन थाउजेंड बी सी मेजोलिथिक स्टेज इज अ स्टेज बिटवीन पेलोलिथिक एंड न्योलिथिक फेज Actually, it is transition phase uh, from Paleolithic to Neolithic phase. The main characteristic of Mesolithic phase is the microliths. Microliths were the small, sharp, or pointed stone tools fitted in grooves of bone or piece of wood. The microliths were used to make saw or sickle-like tools. As you know, Earth has passed through ice ages. By the beginning of Mesolithic age. Ice age had ended, and with the end of ice age, the Earth had started warming up. As the temperature over most of the Earth was becoming more tolerable, men occupied different ge geographical zones. With warming of Earth at the end of ice age, the water in oceans, lakes, and rivers was now in liquid form. During ice age, it was in the ice form, that is, solid form. As the Earth was now warming up. so water evaporation started which led to the formation of clouds and onset of monsoon pattern so uh, this was the climate at start of mesolithic phase now coming to mesolithic sites we find mesolithic sites in coastal zones hilly areas sandy dunes rocky shelters in uh, lake areas in deltic areas In India the mesolithic sites have been found in Begor in Bilwara district in Rajasthan Chopani Mando in Allahabad district of Uttar Pradesh Sirai Nahar Rai Mahadah and Damdama all in Uttar Pradesh Sang uh, Sangka uh, uh, Sangkalu and Kibanhali in Karnataka Langnaj in uh, Gujarat Pesra in Bihar रॉक शेल्टर्स इन आदमगढ़ भीम बैतिका इन मध्य प्रदेश लेखाखिया एंड बेगाईखोर इन मिर्जापुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश साल्ट लेक एरिया इन सांबर इन राजस्थान छोटा नागपुर प्लेट्यू इन सेंट्रल इंडिया ऑल दीज आर द मेजोलिथिक साइट्स कोस्टल मेजोलिथिक साइट्स आर इन मुंबई मेजोलिथिक साइट्स आर ऑल्सो इन साउथ ऑफ रिवर कृष्णा एंड दीज इंक्लूड टुथकुडी इन तमिलनाडु एंड विशाखापट्टनम इन आंध्र प्रदेश Mesolithic people domesticated animals we get the earliest evidence of domestication of animals from Adamgad in Madhya Pradesh and Begor in Rajasthan do men of mesolithic had started domesticating the animals still he obtained food mainly by hunting fishing and gathering fruits and seeds etc from plants Mesolithic men hunted animals like cattle buffalo barasinga gaur sambar cheetal gazelle uh, hog deer nilgai jackal turtle fish wild hare rhinoceros and elephant for hunting men used spears bows and arrows and traps Mesolithic men knew painting we can see paintings of Mesolithic men in Bhim Baitika caves in Madhya Pradesh these paintings show hunting of animals together both by men and women people roasted food on fire animal bones have been found in large number at mesolithic sites at kanewal luteshwar and ratanpur and from adampur and bhim baitika in madhya pradesh camel bones have been found in kanewal in gujarat as already mentioned mesolithic people were hunters and herders that is they domesticated the animals they had to move from place to place in search of food for themselves as well as fodder for their domestic animals on finding a suitable place that is where food for men and fodder for the domestic animals was available in sufficient amount men stayed there temporarily till the time food and fodder was available at that place when food and fodder availability decreased the men left that place and moved to another place in search of food and fodder on finding suitable place men used to live uh, for a certain period at that time uh, at that place 
there he made uh, rounded or oval huts with the help of plant material. People also lived in caves and rock shelters. Mesolithic man was good in painting art. Painting on rocks in caves and rock shelters have been found in Bhimbetika near Bhopal, Raisan, Panchmadi in Madhya Pradesh and South Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh. Now, what is the theme of these paintings? Means, what do these paintings show? These paintings show hunting, fishing, trapping, uh, trapping of animals and dancing. In addition to paintings, an image engraved on the chariot stone has been found in Chandravati in Rajasthan. This stone engraving has beautiful geometric design and it belongs to Mesolithic period. Mesolithic men had respect for dead. They buried the dead. Dead were not left in open, but they were buried. Human skeletons have been found in Mesolithic sites at Mahadaha, Damdama and Sarai Nahar Rai in Uttar Pradesh. At Mahadaha in a burial, both men, uh, both men and women have been found buried together. In a grave, the dead one was buried with a worry pendant. In India, the Mesolithic culture mostly prevailed from 9000 BC to 4000 BC. It was gradually replaced by Neolithic culture. However, the Mesolithic culture prevailed at some sites even after 4000 BC and at some sites Neolithic culture had emerged much before 4000 BC. However, from 9000 BC to 4000 BC, Mesolithic culture dominated at most of human inhabited sites in India. Thank you.